Hello, today I would like to talk about the Gewehr 88, also known as the Commission Rifle. The Gewehr 88 was the result of the small arms race between Germany and France in the late 1800s. France initially had a leg up when they introduced smokeless powder in the Libel rifle, and at that time Germany only had the Mauser M71 firing black powder cartridges. So the German army assembled a commission of engineers and came up with a new rifle and they called it the commission rifle or the Gewehr 88, model 88. And the commission rifle consisted of previous ideas. The receiver is very similar to Paul Mauser's M71 receiver with a split bridge. The magazine is a Steyr Mannlicher magazine and as such it accepts a clip holding five rounds and the clip and the rounds will be inserted into the magazine and it stays in there until the last round has been fired and then the clip gets ejected through the bottom of the magazine. This rifle has been modified and two modifications were being carried out, one in 1905 and one in 1914. And essentially the rifle was modified to accept the standard Mauser stripper clips and for that stripper clip guides were soldered or brazed to the receiver and the hole in the bottom of the magazine was covered with a clip-on sheet metal cover. Also, the rifle was modified to accept the new longer JS ammo and since the rounds were longer the receiver needed to be slightly notched out here to accommodate the increased length. This rifle is fun to shoot but it's also dangerous and that has to do with the rifle's service history because after World War I most of the rifles were sold off to foreign countries where they were re-arsenaled, modified and um, a lot of things done to them and many many years later they hit the US market and they come in a variety of versions. Now the most uh, concerning fact is the barrel diameter the uh, Turks had some of the barrels um, replaced with checkmate barrels which were only 3, uh, 316, 0.316 in diameter. Uh, the Mauser round is uh, 0.323 so there's quite a difference in, in diameter so the Mauser round the bullet is much bigger than the checkmate barrel. So you needed a special bullet or a special ammo for that rifle. Now, several people have reported that they have seen all kinds of barrel diameters between 316 and 321. This rifle here is a 321, and the reason I know is because I slugged the barrel. I took some fishing lead that I bought at a uh, tackle and bait store, and it's a little bit larger than 8mm, and I drove it into the barrel from the muzzle using some, uh, some wooden dowels and I drove it all the way through the barrel until it came out uh, at the receiver side and then I measured it. So just to be on the safe side and not to rely on a single measurement I also made cast. For that I bought metal that melts at a very low temperature uh, it melts at the temperature of boiling water and I did a, a chamber cast here where I basically uh, copied the internal dimensions of the, uh, the tip of the chamber and the beginning of the rifling and I did the same for the, uh, for the muzzle. So I have, two chamber cast, I have one chamber cast and one muzzle cast and I have my slug and Altogether, they told me that my barrel diameter was 321, 
So I knew what the maximum uh, bullet diameter was that I could use for this rifle. Now there's another very concerning fact and then has to do with the way the extractor works. Now on this rifle, let me put in two rounds here. On this rifle, when you close the board all the way, the extractor will hold on to the cartridge and once I open the, the bolt it will eject it. Now if for some reason somebody distracts me and I close it and I totally forgot that there's already a round in the chamber I'm actually capable of feeding it one more time and you see what happens the second round bumps into the first round this is very dangerous and it is dangerous because the tip of the second round now rests firmly against the primer of the first round and the tip, pointed as it is, acts like a firing pin. So if I would try to close the bolt very hard, I would put a dent into the primer, which would cause the bullet or the charge to go off with uh, the possibility of fatal consequences. So that's really dangerous and um, that's why you have to be careful with this rifle. Now there is a remedy and it has to do with the bullet diameter as well. So what I did is, since I needed a 321 bullet, I looked at the uh, 32 special bullet and the 32 special bullet is 321 and it has a very flat nose. So and thanks to the very flat nose, if uh, the first round pushes against the second round, there is uh, not enough pointed force to dent the primer and set off the charge. So this is kind of a safety feature uh, that makes the rifle a little bit safer but it's still you know kind of risky. So if you own one of these rifles keep that in mind. Uh, it has a design shortcoming. Uh, Paul Mauser was aware of that and he um, was the guy who actually fixed all of these design flaws and incorporated the fixes into the Model 98. So after all, um, it's a very nice rifle. I love to shoot it and um, I would welcome you to uh, take a look at uh, how nicely it shoots. Thanks and um, always stay on the safe side. Bye. Four more shots.